Welcome. I'm John Grace, and I want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about what we're doing at Enth. I am presenting to you today because I'm the guy that built Enth. Before we get started, I should tell you that I began my career doing data science as a graduate student at the University of Chicago. Rather quickly, I found I was spending too much time on data and not enough on science. Enth is my attempt to radically alter that condition. This video, Enth, Apache Spark, and Wild Joins, is one of a series of videos in which we introduce Enth, demonstrate Enth working with Apache Spark, including Spark's graph frames, demonstrate live joins between private ERP data and public data, and maybe I'll connect an Amazon Echo to Enth. I guess I have a lot to do, so let's get started. Up on the screen, we're looking at a new type of analytic data science data access tool called Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a web-based notebook that enables interactive data analytics. Enth is built around Spark, and both Spark and Zeppelin are projects in the Apache open source community. Spark is a fast general engine for big data processing, but Spark has no data. <clears throat> We're still required to write code to load data to make Spark work. Well, Enth does three interesting things. One, Enth crawls networks, including private networks looking for data, structured, open, elastic, relational text. Enth doesn't download this data. Instead, Enth indexes the data. Two, Enth uses these indexes as part of a machine learning process in which Enth creates an awareness of data. And three, Enth uses this awareness of data to orchestrate the acquisition and transformation of data into Spark. In other words, Enth tells Spark where to find specific data and what to do with it. Enth is not a warehouse, repository, or lake for data. Enth is an n-dimensional awareness of data. Enth is AI for data. As I mentioned, Zeppelin is a web-based notebook. I'm using a standard version 0.7. We use the windows or paragraphs presented here to interact with our data. Within Zeppelin, I'm using Enth Spark, a product we built that connects an Enth instance to a Spark instance. I'm going to start by importing a few Enth Spark libraries. I'll go ahead and connect to a private instance of Enth located behind my firewall. Let me show you how my private instance of Enth is configured. We're looking at our Enth admin app. My instance, privateenth.com, is permanently installed. I've added publicenth.com. I have a single schema installed on my instance, Northwinds. Northwinds is an old sample database that you may be familiar with. Northwinds will act as our private, secure ERP system. <clears throat> okay, now we're ready to search. And yes, I said search. We're going to search the internet for our data. <clears throat> I've nested several calls to end Spark. For a more detailed explanation of those calls, please refer to the Enth Apache Spark introduction video. To get started, I'm going to start with something simple. Outback Logger Sales. I'm going to use the default visualization tool that's built in to Zeppelin. And here we have our sales of 11,472 for Outback Logger. All right, let's try to spice things up a little bit with demographics. Demographics is a public Nth source. Nth is going to develop a plan to extract and join our private and public data sources. Nth's response 
to nth spark running under Zeppelin is a JSON string containing the plan. nth spark will execute the plan locally on my instance of spark. My private data stays secure behind my firewall. Public.nth.com has no idea what the demographic data will be used for. And here we have our Outbook Logger sales joined with demographic data. In this case, the demographic data is for US only, so our international sales have fallen off during the join process. Now, once we have the demographic data, we can begin to try to build a profile of our beer drinking customers. Let me show you something else that's built into Zeppelin. This is an age range histogram of our data that was dy dynamically created and displayed in, um, in Zeppelin. This is just one of the many interactive tools we can use in Zeppelin to visualize our data. But I got a theory. I think weather plays an important factor in our sales for Outback Lager. So I want to go in and see what our sales are like by weather. Now again, we have Outback Lager. We have high temperature, mean temperature, low temperature, barometric pressure reading, precipitation, wind, all sorts of interesting weather stats. But that's not really what I want. All the weather's kind of been aggregated. I want to look at it by city, see what role different weather in each city might affect my sales. So I can just add the word city or I could add a specific city if I was uh, looking for something specific. Again, Nth is going to develop a plan, deliver it back locally to my Nth Spark and execute the plan in my uh, local uh, version of Spark. So here we have it. This is Eugene, Washington, 225. Geneva, Switzerland. Kirkland, Washington. London, UK. Rio de Janeiro. Temperature, high temperature, low temperature. Precipitation. So now we have weather stats, custom built for my specific data source. Now, let's just try something else. It's a little bit crazier. I want to know what my beer sales were when the temperature was greater than 68 degrees. And again, this creates a whole new element of complexity as we're moving filters across the internet to the appropriate nth instance. So here we have it, 
My Outback Lager sales are 2,955 when the temperature is greater than 68 degrees. And in this case, our average temperature is 85.1 for those cities. All right, our final example is something I think is, is pretty cool. Outback Lager sales with DJIA. DJIA are the Dow Jones Industrial Average daily closing numbers. The DJIA number we're using comes from a text file stored in a zip file by the Federal Reserve in St. Louis. Crawling and indexing text files is something new for ENF in 2017. Now there are many sources for the DJIA, but the point I'm making is that copies of data introduce risk. At ENF, we're always striving to deliver the single version of the truth. ENF will reaccess that single version of the truth every time data is requested. If an update occurs between accesses by ENF, ENF will deliver the correct number for every access. And here we have it, Outback Lager. We got the sales, we got date, we got the closing number for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We've often seen similar or the same copies of data stored all over the internet. We rarely see these copies updated or maintained. In rare cases, we've actually seen actual changes to the data. One of our responsibilities at ENT is to shield our customers from this truly fake data. Well, I hope I showed you something interesting. If we piqued your interest, we have other videos you might enjoy. If you're wondering if you can use ENF to access your data, the answer is obviously yes. If you're wondering if you can use ENF to search your private data and public data, again, the answer is obviously yes. If you're wondering if you can upload all your data to ENF, the answer is no. There's no capability of doing that. If you're wondering if you can use ENF to securely join private sales data to public weather data or private customer data to public demographics data in real time, well, the answer is yes. And this, my friend, is the whole point of ENF. Let's work together to put science back in data science. ENF is delivered via Docker. Non-commercial or development use of ENF is generally free of charge. We look forward to hearing from you, and thank you.